In the previous video, we defined a line integral of a function with respect to arc length by parameterizing the curve and using this formula. I said that the line integral was supposed to represent the area of a curtain, where the base of the curtain is the curve C, and the height of the curtain is given by the function f. So this formula makes intuitive sense because the area of a little piece of curtain should be given by a little piece of arc length times the height. In this video, I'll support this intuition by giving a more precise derivation of the formula using Riemann sums. Those of you who like Riemann sums will be happy to know that it's also possible to define this integral in terms of the limit of a Riemann sum. And if we do so, we get an equivalent definition. Let's see what happens. We have our curve, and we have some parameterization. Let's divide up our time interval from A to B into a bunch of little time subintervals. I'll mark the corresponding points on the curve. Remember that this integral is supposed to represent the area of a curtain over the curve with height given by the function f. In the past, we've approximated the length of the curve by drawing little straight line segments and adding up their lengths. We can do something similar here, and we can write the area of the curtain as the sum of the length of line segment i times the height of the curtain at some point t i star, where t i star is a sample point in interval number i. We add this up from i equals 1 to n, where n is the number of subintervals. Now the length of line segment i is given by the square root of x at, let's see, t i minus x at t sub i minus 1, that's the difference in x's, plus the difference in y's, so that's the length of line segment i just using the distance formula, and now the height is given by our function. Let's assume that the length of each of these subintervals is delta t, then I'm going to multiply each of these terms by delta t over delta t. That hasn't changed the value of my expression since I've just multiplied by 1 in a fancy form. I'll save the delta t in the numerator, but I'll suck the delta t in the denominator inside the square root sign, so it'll be a delta t squared on the inside. If I rewrite things a little and move this delta t to the end, Now these expressions here are actually difference quotients. They look a lot like the definition of derivative, right? And by the mean value theorem, we can actually replace this by the derivative x prime for some t value in the middle. Of course, this Riemann sum is only an approximation of the area of the curtain, which gets closer and closer to the real area of the curtain as the number of subintervals goes to infinity. So the actual integral, the actual area of the curtain, is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of this Riemann sum, which can be rewritten as the integral of the square root of x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared f of x of t, y of t, dt, as before. So the Riemann sum definition gives the same definition as our intuitive definition before. In this video, we wrote the area of the curtain in terms of a limit of a Riemann sum and used that to derive this formula for the line integral with respect to arc lengths.